Hey, Tim Schatz here again for C4D Training. Today I have a little tutorial for you. It's, it's kind of a silly tutorial, but you never know when you might find this useful. So I'm going to show you this video here really quickly. So this is called the Ripple Shader, and let me kind of show you how this gets set up. So this is the file that I was using for that video. So I'm going to create a new file here. So we'll start new. And you start off, at least for this file, the way that I did is I start off with the plane. And I'm just going to stretch this guy out a little bit. And I'm going to add an emitter. And I'll just bring my emitter up. And I'm going to go ahead and add some gravity because I need my particles to fall down. And of course, I need some particles, so I'm just going to throw a sphere in here and go ahead and scale that down. And I just take my sphere and I drop it into the emitter. And so now, if I rewind this and play, you can see these little white dots coming out of the emitter. Those are the particles. And in order to see those, if we go to the emitter and we go to particle, come down here. Down here at the bottom, it says show objects. If I check that on, Rewind and play. Now, instead of seeing the little white dots, we actually see our particles that we want to emit. And I'm just going to go ahead and move this back here a little bit. There we go. Pretty much we're all set to go here. So the only thing we have to do is we have to make the plane editable. So I'm going to select that, press the C key. And then we just have to make a texture for our plane. So I'm going to go ahead and just move here, go to color. Pick something because I want it to look sort of water like. I'm going to pick a bluish color. And on my bump channel, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And under the texture, I'm going to come down here to effects, ripple. If I go ahead and click on this little box here, this takes me into the shader properties. And I have wavelength, speed, amplitude, fall off, minimal strength, periods particle dependent object and particles. Okay, so wavelength, we can raise that up and make it a little bit bigger. Speed, 100 is probably pretty good. Amplitude, fall off. We probably leave those the same. I'm going to raise the periods up a little bit, giving it more periods for the waves or for the ripples. And then for my object, my object is my plane. That's the object that I want to have the ripples on. So I take my plane, I drop that in there, and then here where it says particles, I just take my emitter, and I drag that in there. Okay, and we are pretty much done. So, okay, so then we go ahead and we apply our texture to our plane. And I'm going to go ahead and rewind this and play and wait till we see some particles going through there. There we go. And if I render this, you're not going to see anything because it doesn't render in this view. I'm going to go up and set up my render settings here. So I'm going to go to my general output and make my output uh, D1 widescreen square pixel. And I just wanted to do the whatever current frame I'm on. Save. Go ahead and set our settings here. So I'm just going to call this ripples. And I'll do it just as a quick time movie. And for now, that's good. So if I rewind this and play, and we get some particles going, there we go. And now I render this to my picture viewer. There I'm getting the little ripples. And that's a bit excessive. I kind of dialed up the numbers so that it really would show. But it kind of gives you the idea. You can have things go through an object, and wherever it passes through, it's going to leave these little ripples. So like I said, maybe silly, maybe not. Maybe you'll find some use for this that would be really cool. If you do, I'd love to see it. it closes. So just to kind of go through this one more time, I created my plane, and I made it editable. So that's, the, that's really important. It won't work if the plane is not editable. And then I have my emitter with my particle in it, and I've just created gravity to make it kind of come and fall down. And then in our material, we just you know do a regular color and then on the bump channel under texture we add the ripple texture 
And then we can change our settings here. So I can change this a little bit. Maybe change the period so it's not so big there. And don't forget you have to add your plane and emitter to the ripple shader. And that's about it. And then just remember that it will only render in the picture viewer. If we do this render, we don't see it. If we do this render, we do see the, the ripples there. Hopefully you found that helpful. I'm Tim Schetz, C4D Training. Thanks for watching.